I'm Teacher Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, and this is Angel, my little spirit doggy, and she sends you lots of healing. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Magic is in the air. This week the sun is still in passionate Aries, so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We love you. The moon will visit the signs of Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, and Leo, and Mars is definitely the star of the heavens this week. Action is in the air because it really brings a lot of movement everywhere. Oh, I'm doing poetry. Tuesday, Mars in optimistic Sagittarius will make a lucky aspect to loving Venus. You see, Mars and Venus, they go together, the yin and the yang, which will bring a lot of blessing to love lives, to financial situation, to projects, to dreams come true. Let's take advantage and put in motion any projects, any ideas, any dreams we have to manifest before Mars starts retrograding next Sunday. And then it will slow things down. So this week we plant the seeds and after that we will reap the beautiful fruits of our efforts, okay? information is powerful so use it let me start with you aries happy birthday to you happy birthday to you aries and mars your ruler connecting with loving venus also is definitely in your karmic sector and it brings you like luck protection vitality and a sense of freedom your determination also allows you to really make some important decisions and fabulous prog progress at work or working on something important. You also have the ability to convert opposition into allies. You're a magician this week. At home, stay cool, be understanding, and the most important thing right now is to really, really making people happy. The more you give, the more you receive on the weekend, Take it easy and smile at everyone. They will smile back to you. Your magical color, Fuchsia, lucky number 6 and 33. Taurus, Mars, connecting with loving Venus, your master in your shared resources, somehow give you a big boost of energy and like you're coming out of a cocoon and are ready to shoot for the stars. Expect a lot of surprises out of the blue. And it's time now to move forward. Move on in the future, forget about the past. In career, you are absolutely grounded and practical and you make things happen. And the accent is also on new ideas, maybe falling in love, maybe somebody you met before or that's coming your way. Get ready for surprises if you're single. If you have been divorced or separated, something fabulous is really in the wings for you. On the weekend, you definitely make a difference everywhere you go. Sagittarius people, Cancer and Capricorn definitely show they care. Your magical color green, lucky numbers, 7 and 14. Gemini, Gemini, Mars connecting with loving Venus in your partnership sector bring you determination, courage, and a feeling of invincibility. You are born again, and it's my way or the highway, but with love. Make your moves, believe in yourself, believe in the impossible, success is guaranteed. In love, family affairs, you charge people also share very personal things and secrets with you and i know you will keep them and that's wonderful on the weekend dancing and laugh because there's hope in the air cancer virgo and aries are really friends your magical color yellow your lucky numbers 8 and 44. cancer's magic is in the air that's me your intuition is right on target Mars connecting with loving Venus in your work sector gives you lots of courage and also the energy to fight for what you believe in. It also makes your health better. You attract social activities that allow you to shine. A good time also to stretch and to really breathe deeply and let go of the past and get ready for magic. It's coming your way this week. You could even receive some object or present from somebody just out of the blue. This week, ask. Remember, the way you talk, the way you think, the way you feel, that's how you manifest cancers. So watch the way you think and talk this week. In career, it's time to stand tall and ask 
for what you deserve because nobody can say no to you. Isn't that cool? On the weekend, love rocks you gently, just the way you like. Roxy, Roxy, baby. Your magical color red, lucky numbers 9 and 18. Leo Leo, Mars connecting with lovely Venus in your creative sector really puts a big beautiful smile on your royal face. This is your kind of week you've been waiting for. The sun will break the clouds away, you won't believe it, and you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. You feel powerful, invincible. It's time to make a fresh start to reinvent yourself and go for the big prize. It's really, really magical all week long. You're gonna have that phone call or that yes, that green light you were waiting for. On the weekend, meditate on your big new dreams and goals. Visualize them with all your heart. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers, three and nine. Virgo, Virgo, the lucky one this year. Remember, Virgo's Jupiter is in your sign until the 9th of September. And Mars connecting with loving Venus this week in your home sector. Make you very dreamy, very loving, generous. You're also very patient. And your everything you do for other people is rewarded. The key to your success is just to be yourself, 100%. Your understanding also and flexibility at work is also recognized. This is a productive week and you feel proud of yourself. Friends are very supportive and it's very important to give special attention to a very special person in your life this week. Someone is going to need you, so just be there. You always are anyways. You have an excellent judgment in many things, especially with career. And maybe it's not 100%, but you are moving forward and getting your fair share. In romance too, get ready for some lovely, beautiful moments, especially on the weekend. I can see candlelights. I can see cute little surprises coming your way. Your magical color, blue, lucky numbers, 2 and 11. Libra, Mars connecting with a loving, beautiful Venus, your master in your communication sector, bring you charm, popularity, awareness. You're very, very positive now, and it allows you to really move forward, and you get what you want because you know who you are. At work, co-workers are impressed by your wit, imagination. Somehow it's time to keep your mind open to all new possibilities. In love, you could get some fabulous offer. If you're single, mm, you could fall in love. Maybe a romantic kind of getaway somewhere. Maybe somebody wants to bring you on the trip. I would say yes, absolutely. So get ready for something like that and you absolutely will say yes. On the weekend, you're very adventurous and you fly high like a kite. Gemini's and other Libras and Scorpios and Cancer are definitely allies. Your magical color turquoise, lucky numbers, 3 and 36, play lottery. Scorpios, Mars, one of your rulers, connecting with loving Venus in your financial sector, brings good news in business and projects and partnerships. A good time to sign contracts, to get some funds, to invest, and also to receive wonderful ideas from the universe. Your generosity helps also make new friends and close deals. People like the way you do business. You could also collect money that was due to you or get some kind of fabulous note of a thank you for something you've done for somebody in the beginning of the year. In career and love, be daring and take risks. Don't play safe. On the weekend, tenderness will knock at your door. Your magical color, lilac, lucky numbers 4 and 22. Sagittarius, Mars connecting with loving Venus in your sign give you wings, enlightenment, some peace of mind. It's a good time to promote your ideas and talents, to negotiate, and you have more freedom of action, and a change of scenery would be wonderful for you. So why don't you go ahead and book that kind of a trip somewhere, even if it's for the weekend. Be adventurous. You need to have a little change of scenery, okay? You're gonna do this? Hey, you're a serious. that's what you should do. And let go of the past the status quo. This is not a week for the ordinary. Extraordinary is the way. Shoot for the stars. On the weekend, knock knock who's there. Cupid with a surprise. Your magical color red, lucky numbers 5 and 14. Capricorn, Capricorn. Mars connecting with loving Venus in your spiritual sector makes you very giving, generous, inspired, and also very smart. A good time to share your knowledge with other people. People definitely appreciate your help, your support, and your kindness. 
at work, tell the truth and don't allow people to manipulate you. Your diplomatic awareness definitely makes a difference in everybody's life and even in your own. So get released from good news in your love life and also in career. On the weekend, it's time to receive. So just ask. You say, I want this, and people will say, okay, here you got it. Your magical color, right? Like number six and 33. Aquarius, Mars connecting with beautiful Venus in your social sector somehow makes you shine. Your eyes are bright and people say, oh, you look so good. People are attracted to you. A wish is granted in career, just like that. The focus is also on intrigue, secrets, new information coming your way that really makes a difference in career. A good time to investigate, to make research, analyze and look for the truth in people and situations. Also a good time to replace bad habits for good ones. On the weekend you should relax and you should really dance and celebrate who you are. Your magical color pink lucky number 7 and 42. Pisces, Pisces, Mars connecting with loving Venus in your career sector. Bring optimism and high creativity. Your personal life is more and more exciting. Your heart is made of gold and your family and friends appreciate your immense giving and generosity. At work, a contact you made recently will help you move forward. I'll tell you, keep socializing. Don't stay home, mingle with people. Believe in yourself. On the weekend, kindness will repay the favor. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers 8 and 35. And now is now your beautiful affirmation of this very pleasant week where we need to take action before Mars retrogrades next week, right? In life, what is, what is it to be a winner? Yeah, I love winners. I love winners. To be a winner, in my opinion, is to always do things for the better good of all. And if you don't, you're not a winner, you're a loser. But I know you're a winner and you're always going to do things for the better good of yourself, the people you love, and all of the world. Love you guys. Be good now.